Hello, Interwebs. Welcome back to Let's Play. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it had to happen at one point. <laughs> Dang it, I was doing so well. Hiya. Hello, Interwebs. Welcome back to Let's Play Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. My name is Skinny Minnie. And I'm Dragon. Last episode, um, we finished up the rest of the puzzles for Chapter 2. Um, took a long time to solve Sammy's puzzle. Uh... <laughs> God, I'm so embarrassed by that. And Honestly, now, you had the answer, and you could have just put it in at any point. <laughs> I should have, but I didn't want to, like, guess. Like, because I was like, I counted, I miscounted. And then Brain was like, no, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway. Um, so now, oh yeah, we also saw Katya, the, the Dropstone, uh, Mayor's Daughter. I think he's the mayor. We'll see. No, he's not. He's I not. think he just funds the place. He's the rich dude. Uh, <laughs> um, trying to get hit coins. Uh, anyway, uh, now we are, I guess, exploring the train. Maybe anybody else has got stuff for us. Oh, Babbit, golly. Nope. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, let's go here. Oh, should we go in here? Talk to the chef? There we can. <laughs> How's my little guy doing? I knew it'd be tough without him around, but I didn't realize how lonely I'd get. Is he happy? Don't you worry, he's doing great. He'll be fit as a fiddle before you know it. That's really good to hear. Don't let me down now, okay? I'm actually about to close up the kitchen and take a break until we get to Luxembourg. Most of the train shuts down for the leg of the trip, so you might as well go rest in your room. Don't tell me what to do. What? What if I'm hungry? Mm -mm. Hello. You didn't. Oh, I'm begging your pardon, sir, but we're not open for business at the moment. Do visit us later. You're really closed? Yes. You see, on the way to Luxembourg, there's a long and lit tunnel we have to pass through. While in the tunnel, none of the scenic views our restaurant afford patrons will be visible. It is Mr. Beluga's wish that all patrons will be able to enjoy the scenery while they die. Hence our temporary suspension of our service. Wow, talk about a classy operation. Mr. Beluga has really thought of everything, hasn't he? I guess we just go back to our room then since we're about to go through a tunnel. And somebody's about to get murdered. Wow. <laughs> Oh wait. Or do we go? Do we go into that one? I think that's like an old couple's one. Oh, oh no, they're gone. Oh, no. This is no. giving me strange, like Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, Chapter Six vibes. <laughs> Which I want to play that game again. Oh, it's so good. Where is Mr. White? <laughs> or whatever his name was. Oh, is this our room? room? Yep. Da -da 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 All right. Uh. Looks like there's no way in, huh? Hmm. Well, time to head to the end of the train. All right. Uh. Hello. His face is so derpy. I love it. <laughs> you all right? I think you. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> It's time to get down to business. It's been forever since I've got to do some real work. What do you mean? Didn't you just finish repairing the train? Sorta, of, but before I can kick back, I gotta do- Oops! Oh, I mean, nothing. Things are good. Dang it. What are you alluding? What are you being snaky about? Okay, so we have to talk- So our objective right now is just to talk to the train's crew. Did we talk to everybody? I feel like we did. Except Sammy. Oh, hello? Oh, whoa, well, who the heck? Conrad? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, good day, sir. The name's Conrad. I'm a student of the village of Dropstem. I'm headed to Luxembourg, f so for a while at least, it seems we'll be traveling together. Say, have you heard about the long tunnel on the way to Luxembourg? When the train passes through it, every light on board gets dark. Stranger still, once the train nears the tunnel, all access to the deluxe car is cut off. Just imagine the kind of monkey business some passengers get up to under the cover of dark. 
Something very strange must be going on if they're cutting off all access to the deluxe suites. Of course. It all makes perfect sense. Why didn't I think about it before? Luke, I think I've figured things out. Quick, you two. To the deluxe suits. We're suits. breaking in. Uh, suits. Right behind you. I hate that one. <laughs> <laughs> the professor and Luke and Flora decide to visit the deluxe car. Which is... All the way. <laughs> Back. Technically forward, but like forward. Yeah. Here we are at the deluxe car. Something's written on the sign on the door. Actually, it appeared to be a puzzle of some sort. Ah! I have a hunch that if we solve the puzzle, we can gain access to the car. The door's code. In order to pass through the door, Luke and Leighton must arrange the symbols according to the following rules. Oh, okay, these ones. These aren't bad. The star must be next to the moon. The X must be second from the top. The circle must be somewhere above the diamond. And the moon must be located two places between the diamond. Give it a shot. Oh. Alright, well, I'm fun with that. <laughs> no, jeez. Okay. Um... The star must be next to the moon. Okay. I'm just going to go from what I see. The X must be second from the top. Okay. Um, the circle must be somewhere above the diamond. Uh, and the moon must be located between two places below the diamond. Below. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so the star must be next to the moon. Mm -hmm. Yes. The X must be second from the top. Yes. The circle must be somewhere above the diamond. Yes. And the moon must be located two places below the diamond. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, that was easy. And now to test my theory. Nice. Heck yeah! Correct! And there we have it. Woo! You're in. <laughs> Hacker voice, I'm in. Hacking. Hacked all the skills. <laughs> there we are. The door is open now. Oh, yes! Chungus, you're about to get in shape. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Holy smoke! Look at this place! It's out of control! Yes, it's far more luxurious than the standard cars. Tickets to stay here would cost a pretty penny. Ooh, hold on. Okay, well, I see a nice carpet, and that's about it, guys. Come All right. On. All right, oh, what does that brick wall do? The hamster isn't interested in these blocks, but they're useful for blocking its path and line of sight. Position them according to a maxim maximum effectiveness. Oh, I don't think this is gonna help us. Ah! I, yeah. Why? Trying to get some, trying to get you in shape, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, let's goodness. let's in, let's intrude on people's rooms. Stop! Don't freaking. There we go. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Oh, professor, this room is just breathtaking, and one and a half times as big as our room to boot. Plus, just look how super cushy the sofa is. Wee! Come on, don't jump on the sofa. This isn't even our room. <laughs> Do you remember the uh, the discussion we had about gentle how gentlemen act when? Wow, you're so right. It's so cushy. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> Loot lady is like. <sighs> God, that was funny. How's everyone feeling? Sorry to butt in on the party, but I'm just here to snazz up the rooms. Hmm, let's see. Should they go here? Negative, Sammy. That's no good. Hmm. Hey, you there! Smart looking dude! I mean you, man! <laughs> Me, good sir? Uncle Blue. Uh, I mean, the boss man told me to pretty up the plate with some flowers. Can you figure out where I should put these things to make the room smell nice? <laughs> Of course, it shouldn't be too much 
Uh, it shouldn't be too much trouble to find a spot for the for flowers as lovely as these. Yay. The <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Ah, uh, there's nothing like fresh cut roses to boost your spirits. Can you help Sammy freshen up the whole car with their fragrance? Tap a square with your stylus to place a rose. The fragrance of each rose reaches two spaces in all directions, but can't penetrate walls. The fragrance of two or more roses overlaps. The resulting smell will be overpowering, so make sure to keep your roses spaced out. To remove existing rose, just tap on it again. Alrighty. Oh, I, I was about to say, okay, here's where the memo can be really helpful. Um, Done. <laughs> but then it just it, it just showed the uh, colors, so it's like that's pretty simple. Does it need to fill the whole room? Yes. Oh. Consider <laughs> this puzzle solved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, it was great. I just started clicking. I'm pretty like, sure okay. there's like two of these puzzles. Oh, uh, I like those. Yeah, they're pretty nice. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> there, how's that? Oh, real nice. It's not crazy, but it makes the statement. I'm sure it'll jive with the boss man. Oh yeah. <laughs> that face. Well, anyhow, kick back, relax, and enjoy the rest of your ride on the Molentary Express. Thanks, President Mike. <laughs> now the whole room smells nice. I hope it's not the smell of lavender. I cannot stand the smell of I lavender. I love lavender, though. Like when it's intent, I have like a very sensitive note. I can't, mm. I can't go to the damn Yankee Candle. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so terrible. Yeah, I can't imagine. Hmm. Yes, quite nice, I'd say. We're back to the task at hand. We're given the pla uh we've given this place a once over and come up empty-handed. A gentleman can't very well go barging into other people's rooms. So let's go to our rooms now. Really? Oh. Oh, Professor, do we have to? It feels like it's gotten so late. Can we just stay here for now? The Professor, Luke, and Flora decide to return to their quarters once more. Well, there's your answer, Luke. <laughs> Dang. But what was the point of... He said he figured something out. Oh, excuse me. It's the strangest thing. All of a sudden, I'm so tired. What's the matter, Flora? Oh, gosh, all of a sudden, I'm kind of sleepy, too. <laughs> oh, no. Did we get drugged? <laughs> all right, you two. This is no time for Joe. Oh, dear. I'm suddenly quite tired myself. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah. no, this room's filled with chloroform. We passed out. Uh-oh. You know, it's convenient that all of us were sitting... We're standing in a position where we can all, like, you know. Right? Uh oh. Huh? What's going on out there? Am I dreaming? Uh, what? What the f. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, this again. Uh. Wait, hold on. The two trains pass in the darkness of the tunnel. Move them around so that each locomotive ends up on the opposite, the opposing track while still remaining in the same order of its cars. There's one trick, though. The number of cars for both trains must remain on their original track. Oh, I see. Ha 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 Alright, uh... Alright, well, have fun. <laughs> why can't I... Hello? Why can't I move this? Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, that's basically... It's like a dead weight. <laughs> Can't do too much with them, so don't move. Oh crap. Uh, uh. shoot. <laughs> One. Oh god. Oh, let me fast forward. There we go. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Why don't you just put the two in that little crevice? 
so that you can switch around the three. Yeah. Well, you need the other three, actually. <laughs> the one all the way in the end. Shite. No, I need this three. Stay here. Okay, you go here. Go there. You go there. Okay. Yes. Okay, and now you gotta rearrange the bottom one. <sighs> Stop! <laughs> He's going up to the top. One. Two. Two. Three. Four. Nice. Yay! Here goes! Wait, did you solve that in 58 okay. moves? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Well, yeah, but no. This is puzzle number 58. <laughs> oh, ah! Yes! Two that's cool! Two trains speed off in the darkness, carrying the number two cards of each other. Oh. Like, oddly specific. Specific? Oh. <sighs> oh, that's you. Hmm? <sighs> Hmm? My word, I must have fallen asleep on the couch. How careless of me. Do you know what happened in that tunnel, Luke? Sorry, Professor, but I fell asleep through the whole thing, too. And I had the strangest dream. In my dream, part of the momentary express switched tracks while we were in the tunnel. You mean to say that one of the train's cars is now riding different rails? Luke, what you saw may not have been a dream at all. If one car did split off of the uh, from the train, it would no longer be bound to Lux for Luxembell. Maybe that car is how you get to the Phantom Town. I'm beginning to suspect you're right on the money, Luke. I hope the Phantom Town isn't as creepy as it sounds. Yes. Get ready to be in shape. Chunk it. Get oh. ready to rock the next stop. Yes. Frozen! Come on, passengers, let me hear you scream! Frozen, <laughs> eh? Of course, how could I have missed this? Do you recall how this ticket was missing a destination? Well, it seems that the destination was staring us in the face all along. Really? But where, Professor? Oh! Forty. Oh yeah, good luck. This one's a pretty toughy. Oh god. In front of you sits the ticket that Leighton and Luke found with Dr. Schrader. At first glance, the ticket appears to have no destination written on it, but when you look at it in just the right way, the ticket discloses its destination, the town of Folsons. The key to spotting the destination is the number that has been cut out of the ticket. What number used to be there? Use the ticket in the instruction booklet to puzzle this one out. What? Yeah. Touch. Yeah, I just have a closer look at it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. What if I can I flip it upside down? Mm, no. Full sense. Full sense. Mhm. Mm oh God. So we have to put the missing letter or number. Yep. Oh, what number used to be? What the number? Full sense. Well, it's not. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. 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 I 
and Z, right, and SD. So, F O S E. So, what number uh, line card would you have in mind with us? Not a line card. So, it would be this. Mm -hmm. So, what card? Uh, number six. Uh, that was it. Um, yeah. Whatever that will do. Because if it's this, and then two, so that would mean the yeah, this part, the two. So I think it's two. Let's try it. What were you trying to do? I almost made a question mark. <laughs> you got you made I some question marks over here. Solved. I sure did. Huh. By the way, Yay. congratulations. You really did solve that puzzle and it's a pretty tough one for a lot of people. Yay! I figured I was like, okay, this looks strange. <laughs> Why is it that the easy ones are very hard for me, but the hard ones are like, eh? Mm. Yeah, there we go for full sense. Cause when they punch it, they oh, it's so oh, it's a weird eye. Oh, ooh, scary. A ticket to where? I get it. Well, I suppose it means we've almost reached our destination. Yes. Oh, <gasps> whoa! This is strange. When did it get so dark? What do you mean? It's not voice acted. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I could complain. There was a shot of the train where Luke sticks his head out, and I could have used that to... Uh, I had to figure out how the windows opened in the... Um, oh. When I was making the picture, so I didn't know. There was... I, I didn't remember there was a cutscene where he sticks his head out of the train, and that would have been so helpful. Oh, no. That's okay. It's still good. I love it. <laughs> no, I just find it funny. Just, just a little complaint. I was like, my life could have been easier. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe we've arrived at the next stop. But I don't see Flora, Professor. Where could she be? Hi, you two. Glad to see you're finally awake. Flora, where did you run off to? I'm sorry, but the train car was so stuffy when we stopped, I went outside for some air. You went alone? Are you crazy? It's dangerous out there. Who knows what kind of creeps could be lurking around? Oh well. I'll, I'll be more careful from now on. Watch your tone, Luke. A gentleman always remembered to treat a lady with kindness and respect. Now, since we're all back together, why don't we get off this train and see where we are? Boop! Nice. Yeah! The ticket for, for those headed to full sense a destination accessibly only to those riding in a particular car in the Monetary Express, it would seem that Dr. Schrader must have visited full sense sometime before his death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but I think that'll do it for this episode. In the next one, we will explore the town of full, full, full sense. Full sense. I don't know why I said full. I was almost said the, my boss's last name for some reason. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God. All right. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Much love. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>